game of white horses. That's what the rock climbers call this route in Wales. Henry Barber climbed it before and is familiar with dream, but this morning mist will alter everything. The route is a horizontal traverse and is being led by Al Harris. We went to do Dream of White Horses. I'd heard about this route for years. I'd never done it before. And although everybody praised it, it was supposed to be one of the classic routes in uh, North Wales. The climbing was supposed to be not too hard, but in sensational position, really exposed and very frightening. I didn't foresee too much difficulty. So therefore, when I found the first pitch hard, it rather surprised me. Uh, I set off on the first pitch, and there was a big line of holes leading up, looking really easy. Uh, over to the left in the general direction of where I was going. So I started up climbing up there. There was no definite spike, so I couldn't get any protection on. Uh, Henry shouted up that he thought I was perhaps going a bit too high. He'd done it some time before and seemed to remember it going lower than where I was. But it seemed the obvious line to me, so I continued on up, getting myself further and further out into a frightening position. A fall would have resulted in rather bad consequences, a really long way. I would have fallen something like 100 feet at that point. Looks harder lower down. It looks harder lower. It's not easy. There's a 50-foot run out there without any protection. And there's still no sign of any runners. No, oh, there's, there's good runners about 20 feet below you. Oh, you mean I'm in the wrong place? <laughs> I don't think I went there. <coughs> Oh, man, it's a frightening place. Come on. It's starting to rain, you know. Well, I want a runner. I'd like to do this in the rain. Is there no runners on this pitch? Yes, there are. Where? I don't know. I want one. <laughs> it's very good to have competition in climbing you know, where Alan and myself you know, say are fooling know. around, laughing. Huh? He's gripped, I and I say, oh, it's no problem. So what if you fall 30 feet? But that's, that's a friendly competition, and friendly competition spurs one person on to do moves that otherwise he wouldn't be able to do if there was just a blob sitting on the other end of the rope playing. It became obvious that Al picked the wrong line and was in a really difficult spot. He found some small cracks and put in some poor protection. He was relatively safe there, but he was still stuck in the middle of nowhere. And I was trying to figure out a way to get to this large crack at the end of the pitch. You can find a move hard, and the fear builds up in you as you do that move. The strength drains out your fingers, you get frightened, which draws your strength off again. And so then the whole thing becomes much more serious, and it can build up very quickly like that. So you have to remain completely calm and calculating throughout. And any fear that rises in you, you have to control and cut off. Oh, oh. Nearly. OK. I'm going to try this. Any sport that involves fear and risk gives me a, a buzz from it. I get a buzz from it, that's all. <laughs> the more you climb, the more you get used to the vertical environment, the moving on rock, and eventually it becomes like walking down the street. <laughs> 